Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Altenew. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can stamp the layering images from the Always There stamp set. You can also refer to the layering guide included in the set on the back of your packaging. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can stamp two included flowers and one of the leaves. So we will start with the large flower from the set. I'm starting with the outline image with jet black ink. This is going to be our guide. Let's go ahead and stamp the solid image using the sea glass ink pad. And the solid image very easy to line up because it fits all the areas of the outline image. For the second one, you're going to focus on the center and the bottom portion of the image. And I use ocean waves for this layer. For the third layer, you're going to focus on the center portion as well, along with the bottom two largest petals that you see of the bloom. I'm going to ink it up with dust ink pad and then stamp the layers. And that finishes the flower for this one. You can stamp out the center portion of the flower using some yellow inks. I went ahead and used the pocket full of sunshine ink pad to complete the center portion of these flower. And they are really easy to line up and it's almost no brainer. We're going to move on to the second flower, which is a smaller one. Outline image was stamped with jet black ink. The solid image fits the outline image perfectly, along with the center portion of it. So I went ahead and stamped with blush ink pad. Now we're going to use the second layer. So we're going to stamp the second layer using the matching the center portion of the flower and the top and the bottom portion. This one's also fairly easy to line up and I used rouge ink. For the third layer, we're going to mainly focus on the center portion and the bottom portion of it. So you can line it up easily and I use the velvet ink for these. Now the leaves, you can stamp the outline images. This one's a little bit tricky. It has one full solid, which I just stamped with the forest glades. And then you're going to go back in with the same ink using the half portion of the solid image. So you're going to line it up with the top and the bottom portion of the ink that way. And then you look at the vein of the leaves for the third layer. I'm going to stamp it with evergreen ink pad and you're going to line it up where the vein you can see through that empty spot and stamp it matching the top and bottom portion of it. And that's how you stamp the images from the Always There stamp set. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.